Hi there everyone and welcome back to the channel. We haven't had a video up now for about a week or so. So uh, after quite a busy day today, it's a bank holiday Monday here, uh, the October bank holiday here in Ireland. And yeah, we had a very busy day walking the cattle. I just said I better try and get some footage and uh, I decided to set the camera up in a couple of positions here just as I was filling the feed up. And what I'm gonna do is now I'm just gonna kind of talk over it, do a bit of a voice over over, describe what's going on. Uh, and have a bit of a catch up also on uh, what's been going on on the farm over the last few weeks. So, uh, also at the end of the video, uh, there's a bit of a shout out for uh, one of my followers as well. So keep an eye out for that. Um, yeah, so basically uh, filling the meal here into the feeder for uh, a batch of heifers. We had 50 heifers grazing outside. Uh, they were taken in today. Uh, they were starting to get a little bit low on grass, so yeah. Uh, well, weather conditions, ground conditions uh, stayed fairly okay uh, for them where they were grazing and allowed us to leave them out long enough to get the ground eaten down and uh, yeah which is always nice if you can get it eaten down this time of the year that you don't have a lot of grass and you end up down a lot of dead grass then uh, early in the springtime if, if it's not eaten down nicely this time of the year so uh, it was great to get them outside for as long as we did uh, but at the same time, it's nice now to get them inside. Uh, we can start to move them now onto a ration, which we are we have done. Uh, like a, it's a starter ration where they get a few kilos of meal uh, every day for the first number of days, uh, and then they start to gradually get moved up on that ration to the point where uh, they get up onto the feeding ration. Then in about uh, about a month's time, so yeah, it's a bit of a process to get up there. Uh, don't want to cause any issues, stomach issues by moving them up too quickly and uh, yeah so that's why they're, they're just starting off on the on a small ration now for the next few days. They're actually, uh, these cattle in are going to be on the same ration as the weanlands. Uh, we have some uh, of our calves from this year weaned and they are inside now so you'll see them a little later in the video just as we're feeding them. Uh, yeah not all the calves are weaned yet, uh, a couple of the later born ones aren't weaned and uh, so we've got about, still about, I think there's about 17 outside uh, cows and calves um, in one batch that, uh, yeah, they're just a little bit too young yet. Uh, we might wean them in a few, it all, it's going to be all weather dependent. Uh, where they're grazing, they could stay out until probably early December. Uh, we're going to bolus the cows and we'll see then after that what the weather does. So, yeah, it's kind of a, it's a wait and see game with that. Uh, if you happen to get a, a dry November, which you could, uh, we'll leave them out as long as we can. Okay, so we're down now, just taking the, the first of the silage up now to get this feed up filled. Um, yeah, this is second cut silage from uh, 2019. And uh, remember back to 2019, uh, our silage was quite a bit later. We didn't get a cut until around the middle of, of June. And it meant that our second cut silage then wasn't cut till early September. So quality of it, it's, it's okay. It was cut dry at the time. Uh, it was got in fairly good conditions, but it had been wet all year. So um, right through its growing season, it had been very wet. Um, it's going off quickly, uh, but now that we have a lot of cattle in, that's not really a big issue because we're using it fairly quickly. We're moving across the face very fast on it. Um, but it hasn't been tested. I don't know what it would test like. Cattle seem to be doing okay on it for for the for the most part. Okay, so we'll just finish the the feeding with normal volume, and we'll come back uh, once we start discharging the feed out, and uh, we can resume the voiceover then at that point.
Okay, so here we are discharged, just starting to discharge out the feed, uh, and we're down in the new cattle shed. This is the one that went up a couple of years ago. Uh, these are all the heifers, or more or less all the heifers. There is a few heifers in the second pen that were already in, but the majority are the heifers that we brought in today. Uh, you can see mostly continental breeds, mostly Charley or Charley Cross, uh, and that's kind of what we're moving towards now over the last we started with them last year to see how they went and we've moved even more towards them this year. Uh, we were majority bull finishers over the last 15 years but with how things are going uh, and the last, especially the last few years, well the price has hardened at certain times and the ability to be able to get your animals slaughtered uh, wasn't always easy or maybe you couldn't always get your animals slaughtered it always seemed to be the bulls that were getting uh, the brunt of the uh, the price cuts uh, farmers were being crucified anyone who had bulls for slaughter so yeah we've we've moved away from them we've kind of moved now towards a premium heifer which uh, we we had a number of pens of them last year we were very happy with how they'd done uh, the price wasn't always the best last year but they performed well uh, they performed well and if the price had to be a little bit better or where it should have been rather than the COVID the COVID really finished the price last year the, the meat wasn't being eaten so uh, if the COVID hadn't hit I do believe that they would have done very well and would have left would have left money so look it'll be interesting to see how it works out this year maybe it'll be the same this year we've had a couple of tough years cattle wise uh, as all beef finishers have so uh, look it's the kind of there's no job can keep going on forever if you're not making any money from it and yeah this year would be interesting to see how it goes if it, if it's another year like the last two it would definitely have you questioning what way uh, you'd be going in the future especially with beef and cattle um but yeah that's we're kind of finished now in this in this in this shed uh, and we'll head up now towards the Weenlands and we'll just feed those as well. Uh, I think I'll just let the, the video kind of play out now at this point and uh, you can just watch it with normal sound and then uh, I'll come back to you at the end of the video uh, for a final, a final finish up. So. So just after finishing feeding up for this evening, um, I hope I went through everything in the in the voiceover. If not, if you have any questions, uh, just pop down into the comment section and leave any of them there and I'll try to answer them if I can. Um, yeah, I will be doing some more videos in the coming weeks uh, on feeding and we'll also be, we'll have a few days to do, I think we're doing it next week, maybe towards the end of next week where we'll be taking out uh, all the pens of animals, we'll be uh, dosing them, we'll be clipping their backs, we'll be um, foot bathing them, all that kind of stuff. And I'll also go through that and I'll 
talk about maybe some of the products we're using and why what we're doing why we do it all that kind of stuff so uh, you can watch out for that that'll be uh, probably towards the end of next week i'd imagine so uh, yeah that's something else to just watch out for uh, just before i go i uh, just want to give a quick mention to uh, a mr jack o'flaherty jack is from clonmel in tipperary he's a big fan of the channel he watches quite a few of the, the youtube farming channels i hear jack is the man to ask if you want to know anything about farm machinery and all that kind of stuff uh, and yeah he's he's a big fan of all tractors machinery uh does a bit of driving himself i hear he's very good at it and uh yeah just uh a special hello to jack and uh, i'm going to make up a little pack and send it out to you in the post so watch out for that probably be with you towards the end of this week or early next week and uh yeah thank you very much for following me and supporting me and watching the channel and all that kind of stuff so yeah uh that's really it for this evening's video as always uh, don't forget to hit the sub button if you're not already a subscriber hit the like button comment down below all that kind of stuff and we will see you uh, prob probably around the weekend i would say with, with the next video so have a good week and we'll talk to you then